Herniated discs are the most common cause of sciatica, pain down the leg due to inflammation of a nerve root in the lower back. It's a kind of pain that is so severe, I would not wish it on anyone, not even the producers of internet clickbait. Sciatica is more common than you think. If, thankfully, you've never had it yourself, you certainly know someone who has. Watch this video to the end to learn the three things you need to know if you or someone you love develops sciatica. The standard medical playbook for painful sciatica due to a herniated disc is rest, moist heat, and manual therapies like chiropractic, acupuncture, or physical therapy. If you have functionally limiting numbness, weakness, uncontrollable pain, or any other red flag, then see a doctor right away. Otherwise, you're safe to treat at home for the first three weeks. Health hack, mark the day exactly three weeks after your pain began on your calendar. If you're still having pain on that day, stop messing around go see a medical or chiropractic doctor. When medications are desired, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, for most people that's Aleve or ibuprofen, or even muscle relaxants like Flexeril are recommended, not opiates, never. Don't forget to always take over-the-counter Prilosec or Pepsid AC when using any non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Again, if three weeks pass with no improvement at home, then you should see a doctor. They're going to take your history, perform a neurological examination, and send you for an x-ray of the lumbar spine. If your evaluation at the doctor's office confirms sciatica, then an MRI will also be obtained at this point. The proper treatment for a herniated disc causing sciatica depends on just two things, the severity of your pain, and whether your doctor finds evidence of functional numbness or weakness. In the vast majority of cases, sciatica will resolve as your body heals the herniated disc over six to 12 weeks. But during those 12 long weeks, you have three options for treatment. Remember, the right treatment depends on the severity of your pain and whether your doctor found functional numbness, weakness, or unbearable pain. Let's break them down. First, for those without nerve damage, so there's no functional numbness or weakness, and there's not unbearable pain, it may make sense just to get reassured by your doctor and then give it a little more time. If the pain is severe, but the exam is reassuring, then a short course of up to three epidural injections can help relieve the sciatica as your body cleans out the herniated component of the injured disc. While it's very helpful for temporary pain relief, epidural injection does not change the likelihood of your needing microdiscectomy surgery. For those with functional numbness, weakness, or unbearable pain, then it's time for microdiscectomy surgery. That would be your best choice. Remember though that studies show that microdiscectomy surgery, while it relieves sciatica pain faster than healing on your own, the results are the same with or without surgery after two years. For best practice, I'm Dr. Dan Lieberman. If you have a question you would like answered on Best Practice Live, click the link to our website and complete the submission form. The more information you can give us, the better we can answer your question. So please contact us and we can walk you through uploading your imaging to a secure server. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with information about your spine and joint health.